Oh, wait a minute. Yo, what is up, my family? Today we are going to react to some scary stories. I'm going to lower it down so you can hear my mic a little bit better. There we go. So today's video, we're going to react to some horror stories. Some short little horror stories. But one, I'm about to shit my pants right now because I haven't watched this in a while. I watched some of these, but I haven't reacted to them. and showed you guys my reaction. If you see me do out of this, that means I'm scared or I'm about to poop my pants. But we're going to start the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn those big bell, click that big bell, ring up that big bell. And when it rings, that's when you know my new video is coming out. My another reaction video. I, I'm th I think I'm going to do a little bit more reaction videos than gaming. And yeah, stick around. And um, if you want to see me react to any of your videos that you guys want me to watch, put it down. Don't be afraid. And remember, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, handsome, no homo. Subscribe. I'm really about to shit my pants. Legit about to shit my pants. This story happened to me a couple years ago. It happened on a Saturday night. Whoa. I was typing out a school report for my English class and was pretty worn out from the tedious amount of thinking that transpired throughout the paper. I decided to take a break and procrastinate a little bit. Maybe watch a couple of YouTube That's videos. That's so me. I needed to take some stress off my mind, but didn't really have anyone oh. to vent or talk to. Bro, this my skin is literally getting chills. Hey, watch this video. For those of you who don't know what Omegle is, it's a chat room where you can literally video chat with random strangers online through your computer webcam. Needless to say, Omegle definitely helped with my social skills growing up as a child, so I was always active on it. I remember this one particular night. I was having trouble meeting new people. This left me a little frustrated to say the least, but that's the kind of thing to expect when you're on these kind of chat sites. On God? That's when I stumbled upon this one guy. Oh he no! He to be around the same age group as That's myself, a total red flag, like, like leave! I decided to say hi. Bro, this is scary. My skin is he literally chilling. I cannot back. watch he this just anymore. just typed the word hi in the chat box. Holy crap, that's I a whole red flag. that he would go through the effort of typing out that is a whole red flag. He's sitting in the middle of you don't even know where. Has black hair. No offense to people with black hair. I have black hair. Staring at you and just types hi. What the? That's clear signs. Bounce. Leave. Adios. You don't just sit there and just. Oh. I'm going to continue chatting with this guy. Like. Uh, damn it. Out high as White opposed people. to just saying no hi offense. verbally. No offense. He no then offense. waved at me and began typing something else. He introduced himself in the chat box saying, My name is Daniel. What's your name? I've None of your said, goddamn business is what James. my name is. How are you? He then stares at the camera and doesn't say a word to me, completely dismissing the fact that I just asked him a question. Holy crap. At this point, I was convinced that this had to be some sort of pre-recorded video and that someone was just trolling me. That's when he began typing in the chat box again saying, I'm deaf. Please type in the chat box unless you know sign language. I honestly felt stupid and immediately typed, no worries, my name is James. And Either this guy loves to meet creepy gesture. people or he he's on crack. Either one of those. Saying, I nice would not text James back. I'm bouncing. Well. I'm not even going to turn my camera on. But too bad. Amigo is so dumb. Left me dumb. Your camera's on. He they said, can see your face. I will use my whiteboard to chat with you going forward because my hands will be occupied. I was confused by what, what? he meant by that. So I typed, what do you mean by your hands being occupied? He then starts my skin is literally chilly. I cannot even screen, feel my read, body right now. Is she... No, I, I don't want to play a game. Sure. What game you want to play? Oh my what god, you idiot. Is something I will never forget to this day. He held a revolver up with one hand and the whiteboard up with the other hand saying, let's play Russian roulette. I was honestly quite creeped out by this guy and was contemplating on clicking the stop option to skip this weirdo. That's when he wrote another message on the whiteboard saying, one of six. I was confused by what one of six meant. He then took the revolver, slipped one bullet inside the cylinder, I have and began no words. spinning it with his other hand. I now knew what he meant Yo. by one of six. Yo. It seemed like the guy Yo. was about to demonstrate an act of Russian roulette with one bullet in the cylinder of six. He then puts the revolver against his head. I began typing. What are you doing? Please stop this. Oh, yo, smiles to you gotta go, you gotta go, the trigger. oh, no, you gotta go. He starts laughing hysterically like a psycho. 
I was honestly disturbed, but also skeptical that the gun was real, so I typed... Well, my eyes are literally the same thing as the character. He then points the revolver at the wall and begins to repeatedly Bro, press the trigger my until the skin. shot was fired. I was completely blown away by what I was seeing and typed, Dude, you could have died! That's when the guy raised the whiteboard to the screen again, showing the message, five of six. I frantically started typing. My concern is why, why, why is he leaving? He's literally attention. egging you on. Leave. He then began loading oh the revolver God. with five bullets while I gesture no by waving my hands back and forth like a lunatic. I knew the odds of him surviving this time were slim to none. He then raises the revolver against his head once again and begins to disturbingly smile with tears running down his face. He began mumbling the words, It was nice meeting you, James. I immediately slam my laptop shut as I hear a gunshot a split second before the laptop was fully closed. I was left baffled on my computer desk. I hadn't a clue what to do. I stupidly oh opened my laptop up with my eyes closed. I pressed my hand against the screen where the video chat was located. I opened my eyes, and through the cracks of my fingers, I can see blood displayed everywhere on a screen. I immediately click the exit button on the Google Chrome tab and call it a night. To this day, I'm still skeptical about what I saw that night. I haven't reported anything to the police, nor have I reported anything to Omegle. I'm not sure if that was the wisest decision, but I hope I never encounter anyone like that again. Oh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> so nasty. Oh my god. What's the second story? Okay, guys, it's about to be six minutes in. So we're going to try to get, finish this last story. So stick around. Holy crap. My skin was shivering that whole goddamn fucking thing. Holy shit. Nope. Ads. Fuck. Ads. Fucking ads. We're gonna, I'm going to mute it real quick. Fucking ads. I fucking hate ads. Holy shit. <sighs> All right, let's go. And we went out for the usual post. Oh my god, that was so nasty. Ah! Oh, my skin is crawling. Just legit, just crawling with. Hey. Ah. No! Holy crap. It was New Year's Day in 1995. I was in the middle of my junior year at my college, and a bunch of my friends had come down to visit me and my roommate for the festivities. We were all pretty hungover from drinking the night before, and we went out for the usual post crazy breakfast hangover stroll around the neighborhood. Two of these friends were twin brothers. One of them we hung out with all the time. The other we just met for the first time. It was pretty normal the night before, you know, joining in on the fun, but on this day, we were all hanging out around the local basketball court shooting hoops with an old basketball we found. The first thing that went wrong here, why are you drunk? Why are you hangover? That's what I want to know. My skin is legit crawling, but let's get back to the video. Just ask yourself that. Why are you drunk? And playing basketball and hangover. In the grass. And this twin brother kept following me around all over the place. With the creepiest grin I've ever seen in my life. Staring Bro, right into my the skin. the regions of my, my skin. soul the whole time. So I backed away and then I joined the group again. And he kept following me around. What the? Yo! When you we were walking back to the apartment. It was just me up. and him walking down the sidewalk behind the group. And he moved in front of me. He stared at me with that creepy look again and fell down to his knees as if he was to worship me or something. I didn't know what to do or say, so I said, hey, buddy, oh my God. you all right? We're I don't know if you have to hear the same right? little sound effect in my and ear, so but on. that is giving me He chills. wouldn't say anything. He'd just be there on his knees, looking up at me with this clenched face and squinted eyes as if we I'm were to looking legit cry. I'm about to legit go in a corner something. and cry. My skin is Later shivering. My roommate said he was tripping, so I thought nothing like of it moved on, on my with my life. Skin, like just a few falling. weeks later, we got a phone call from the twin brother that we usually hung out with. 
and it turned out that his other twin brother went over to his aunt's house with a knife and stabbed her 14 times. She didn't die, but you know, still pretty bad. He had even called the police before going because he knew he was going to do it, but he couldn't stop himself from doing it because you know, the voices and so on. The court case was covered in the media as this was a small community where this sort of thing doesn't happen every day. I was reading one of the articles and one of the testimonies was that this twin brother was severely schizophrenic and was hearing voices in his head. He believed to his very bones that his aunt was the devil and that he had been commanded by God to go kill her. So who was this God? What the? Yo, he got to go. Well, as the newspaper article described, I literally cannot speak. My skin is literally shivering. Day. Didn't take literally long through to my freaking that he was talking about me. whole arm. This was over 20 years ago. I know for a fact that it was a mental illness, but just knowing that I somehow commanded him to go kill his aunt just stays with me to this day. Okay, you know what? That's it. That is it. All right. Guys, if you want a part two, like, hit that bell before I hit part two. I'm going to make a part two tomorrow. Trust. I'm going to make a part two with Beast X tomorrow. We're going to talk on Discord, and we're going to make a part two tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Peace out, guys. You're the best. You're special.